Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's William Biz with Free Power. And we're gonna talk about, I know everybody has a problem with Aptera size and how small it is. So they fear for the safety of their passengers or for themselves. And that's understandable, but we're gonna talk about that today as far as what Aptera is gonna do once the Delta comes out. So uh, let's get into it. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, all you guys. And we're going to talk about the safety of Aptera and all the things that Aptera is going to do to provide you with the safety of the Delta once it comes out. And I have a video clip. Uh, there's somebody that asked that exact same question. So let's listen to um, what he has to say. Can you give us an update on the crash testing timeline? Are they going to be, te you know, when will they be tested in, uh, you know, in Modet Modena? Is that what it is? Yeah, we, uh, we think that the crash testing will still happen here in California. Uh, we think that we will get uh, bodies from CPC. We will build up the first uh, validation vehicles here and we will crash test them locally. Uh, one, so our engineers can you know get a visceral feel for how those tests are going. Uh, two, so we can be in control of uh, you know how we uh, show everybody how that's happening. So we'll take video and pictures and, and show everybody uh, you know how we're doing. So as you heard, the question that was asked by Steve is um, what are they going to do about crash testing that terror? Where are they going to do it at? And of course, Chris brought out that they're going to do the crash testing there in Calisbad, California, right after they get the Delta and start putting them together. And then they're gonna crash test, it, comparing that with their engineers and uh, simulations that they had of the crash testing of the Delta. They're also gonna record it so that we can also see exactly how the Aptera will hold up in a crash test. And once again, we brought out that the Aptera Although it's gonna have, this is a, a 60 uh, kilowatt battery that the Aptera is gonna have that uh, it only weighs 1800 pounds. So that is a very light vehicle. But the thing about Aptera, and that's why I'm so glad that they're being transparent and they are going to validate this for everybody and record it to see how close they are to the computer simulations that they have already put out. But the thing about Aptera is they are significantly have safety advantages over other vehicles, complete with an anti-locking braking system, forward collision warning with the safety pilot package, two airbags, one for the driver, one for the passenger, four external cameras and parking assist. It is designed to meet or exceed all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards and to use industry standard testing protocol to ensure reliability and durability. Once again, they are designing the Delta to meet or exceed all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards and use industry standard testing protocols to ensure reliability and durability. Uh, the, they also have, I brought this out in one of my videos, I'll leave the link below, that they have a Formula One inspired safety cell. Now I talked about that. The safety cell of a Formula One race car is actually made out of a carbon fiber, this exact same carbon fiber sheet molding that Aptera uses for its enclosed vehicle. So they are using the exact same material and which is many times stronger than steel. But you know, they also have a metal front frame, rear frame, to absorb energy with impact. So, you know, they, I also did a video about that, how the frame that they have will absorb and they designed it to uh, crumple in a specific way, but it also absorbs the impact of the crash. So that makes it uh, safe as well. So Aptera is gonna be very safe and I can't wait till they come out with the video so we can show you exactly 
you know, what they're talking about, how they designed this to be more safe than any vehicle that's out there. But it's all the proof's in the pudding. We have to wait until they come out with it to actually see exactly how they're designing that and how they are going to actually bring that about. And give me your thoughts on it. What do you think about Eptera? We know that with the smaller vehicle, it's basically going to bounce away from the heavier vehicle. And we know that those that are in the heavier vehicle relatively end up with the lesser amount of the impact. But I believe that with the Amptera and what it's built out of is really going to make it very, very safe for its passengers. All right, so I'm going to move on to the accelerator program. Now, last time I checked this, they didn't move at all. I don't expect them to move this time either. But let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what's happening there. And today they, all right, at Terra, way to go. These guys are steadily on a decline. They didn't move very much, but we have to remember that they're still on a pause. They haven't even opened the accelerator program back up. And yet they are able to drop, or should I say, add two more investors. And that is really awesome. They went from 658 to 656. That is very good. When you could do that and your investment has actually been paused, but um, those that can invest, they have to be an accredited investor, which means you have to make at least 200,000 or more if you're single or 300,000 and more if you're married. So I'm not a financial advisor, so you have to talk to your financial advisor. I don't, and I can't, and I don't. And I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but this company here, this is a very big dynamic uh, change when they come out. It's a paradigm shift. This solar EV, when it comes out, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna wanna be involved with Aptera. And this would be a good time to jump on the bandwagon. But once again, I'm not a financial advisor. Talk to your financial advisor and look into Aptera and see if this is something that you want to get involved in. And even if you don't want to get involved in investing at Aptera, what you can do is you can still uh, design your own vehicle. And if you look at my link below, it'll show you how you can design your own vehicle or you could come to this web page right here and then go to reserve now. But if you hit my link, it'll automatically bring you here to this page. And then you could go ahead and start designing your Aptera now. And the thing about my link is you won't have to put $100 down. All you have to do is put $70 down. So it'll save you $30 off of designing your Aptera. And yes, again, way to go, Aptera. I'm so excited. These guys are ready to rock and roll. I know it. And once they come out and everybody starts learning about Aptera, there is going to be such a big shift again. And people are going to start, you're going to see a lot of Apteras on the road and they're going to be cranking these babies out as fast as they can go. But anyway, once again, let me get your feedback on this. Tell me your thoughts. And you can just tell me your thoughts and uh, that, you know, I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. And if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my new videos when they come out and you'll learn all about Aptera and what they are doing. All right. So y'all guys, you take care. You enjoy the rest of your day. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your help. Continue to support my channel. I appreciate it because I can't do this by myself, and this, this does take some work. All right, you guys take care. We'll talk to you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.